I'm 16. Before this year, I've only ever heard of Gotham. Goodbye Metropolis, hello Insane Asylum. There wasn't much of a choice with high schools. It was either Elliott Collegiate Academy, the oldest, preppiest, and most stuck-up school ever. I really wish you would do that around me. That's so filthy. Home to all of those entitled rich weirdos like Bruce Wayne and Ozzy Cobblepot. Or Gotham High, the most dangerous public school in the state. In the end, my parents chose the latter, and transitioning hasn't exactly been easy. The school is nuts. Before I got here, the principal had to go on trial for beating a student. A public servant! I am not the bad guy. I will not be treated the same way as this, this lying, murdering, two-time loser! Silence! Objection, Your Honor. I want to fit in. If I'm going to survive here, I know I'm going to need to find a date to the spring prom. There are only so many available guys, so narrowing down the list is the first step. Some are immediately disqualified, like Bane, a jock with serious authority issues. See what I mean? Or Johnny Crane, a nerd who got half the student body stoned when he put some chemicals in the lunch meat. Or Mike Engel, the geeky reporter of Gotham High's new show. You ask me one more question and I'm beating the shit out of you. Sorry. The top of my list is Harvey Dent, a classic dreamboat. He used to be a badass, looks about 30, and dated the prom queen when he was just a sophomore. <laughs> after breaking his leg chasing after some guy who stole Mrs. Foley's purse, he lost the attitude, joined the debate team, and ran for student body president. John Blake is pretty cute and kind of a flirt. He won a ton of medals for gymnastics, which is surprising because he's a bit of a wimp. Aiden, listen, I... Uh, okay, later. That's Joe. What a hunk. I know some say he's dangerous. Don't look at him. He's a criminal. Hmm. I heard he lit a state trooper on fire. He just did a year in San Quentin. I guess the good girl me is just kind of attracted to that. That's Selena. She's pretty weird. I think she's into girls, and I hear she talks to her cat. You are so lucky you don't know who your parents are. She's been giving me the eye in gym. Sadly for her, I don't swing that way. You're concentrating awfully hard considering it's gym class. Can I help you? I want to talk to you about prom. The only guy who's asked me is Tony Garcia. I call him eyeliner. He's the only real competition Harvey has as student body president, but he's way too full of himself. Honestly, if it came down to it, I'd rather go with someone like Victor than that guy. When you're, when you're yeah, Victor looks different. To turn your head. I don't think he's as cold as everyone says no, he is. A little a, odd, uh, yes, but different can be good. I knew once Ivy got a date, it would get desperate. I'm considering asking Bruce Wayne, but he goes to Elliot. He's kind of a loner like me, but I hear since his parents died, he just locks himself in his room and listens to chamber music. There's something sexy about that. I'm finding out that high school is a lot of things. It's not easy to follow your own path, or even your own heart. Till next time, Harley.